welcome to the North London Derby here on a frosty January on Sunday. Arsenal are first in the league, but they haven't won here since 2015 with Arteta looking to make change to that. But Tottenham, with a win here, they go equal on points with Newcastle, who are currently drawing to Fulham, and that would sneak them back in pole position for Champions League football next season. 3-0, confident. 3-0, confident. 2-0, 2-0. If we get 10k likes, I will fly to one of these places tomorrow. The ball's in your court. Nervous as always. Yeah. I'll do, but I'm good. It's going to be a great match. First time they come to our ground in a long time. It's probably the better team, let's be honest. Quietly confident. I think it might be a 2 1 win. We've always had the full week to trade for this game, which we haven't had in a long time. So, yeah. I'm just continue to get the tactics right as well. Time to enter our stadium, walk to our seat as the teams come out. Pape Metasar starts. No Benton Kerr. <laughs> Arsenal fans are right there. Here we go. You can tell the Arsenal fans are up for this. With Man City losing on the weekend, this is a massive opportunity for them to extend their lead at the top of the table. Number 29, Ramsdale. Ramsdale clutch the away fans. Here we go. And we're underway here at the new White Hart Lane. Difficult to judge from our angle, but Lloris actually scored an own goal. <laughs> Continuing his concerning form for club. Only a few weeks back, he was a penalty shootout away from a World Cup. <laughs> Doesn't look too, too happy with the way his team's playing. And <laughs> God hits it 2-0. Carnage in the away end, and this is a better example of Spurs failings, with Lloris forced to go long as Arsenal's hugely effective pressing was causing big problems playing out from the defence. Kane lost the header, three passes later, Odegaard sweeping the ball past Lloris. Arsenal have looked so good. They can win the Premier League. Tottenham made mistakes here and there. Spurs don't, don't look the same from the result that they got last year. Hoiberg strikes it and misses the target, but goes down and he's searching for a penalty. Yeah. Not on my books and neither for the referee. Half time, Tottenham are losing 2 0 at home to Arsenal. This is crazy, isn't it? Mental. Mental. Awesome. Unbelievable. Spurs are falling apart. They miss Benton Kerr. I just don't feel they've got a lack of fight in defensive midfield. This pass has been played from the fullbacks and they don't even know where they're going. Arsenal in full control. This game feels as if it's done. Second half began and there weren't many clips, it was just a Ramsdale masterclass. He single-handedly kept Arsenal to a clean sheet throughout these minutes. Arsenal fans taking over. First win at this stadium since 2015. That's full time. Arsenal stay top of the Premier League. Oh my. Tottenham fans in the South Stand. I've had a collision with Ramsdale and now everyone's on the pitch. Know what it means to be top of the Premier League. Unbelievable scenes at the end there. I don't know what happened between the South Stand and the Arsenal players, but this is an aggression that comes from the fans that is bigger than just one game. Tottenham have a lot to change around. You could see how much they missed Bentinka. They were 50, they were second to all the 50-50s. In the midfield, they lost that battle. And you could see that on the pitch today. 
Arsenal look a level above everybody else. I don't know how they're doing it every week, but they're just impressive. I now think they're going to win the Premier League. Where's it come from? Australia. 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 Who's the, what's the best team in Australia? I want to know. Yes. The Newcastle Giants. <laughs> what do you think about Arsenal? Are they winning the league now? United are a dark horse, I think. United, I wasn't expecting to hear that. Fair play. Arsenal fans still haven't left. They still aren't leaving. Say, so, well, no intensity. I think Kluzeski was in match fit. Who's going to win the league now, be honest? I can't comment. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. You can't come in. Yeah, what happened at the end? I didn't see it. That was that happened to be by the side. I just got kicked in the back. We just saw Next so time. many fans and coaches and players run over. Yeah. It was madness. A Tottenham fan aimed a blow at Aaron Ramsdale at full time. This is shocking. And, and I know there's heat between the two teams after a North London derby. It's quite toxic right now at Tottenham after a few bad results. But that is a step too far. There was always a bit of back and forth between Aaron Ramsdale and the fans. You saw that. Tottenham fans always like to have a laugh because Ramsdale gives it back. He's always said it's part of his game that he likes to have the banter with the crowd. But there's no place in football for violence. There should be strong action on the individual responsible. There's no question, there's no doubt. I mean, footballers, they go to work, they play their game. Yes, there might be a bit of banter between the fans and the players, but there's never room for violence. That's, that's, that's facts. But in terms of the match overall, Arsenal... I will now say they're going to win the Premier League. They've got eight points clear and they're not just proving it in the matches where you think they should win. They're going to Tottenham and breaking records. They haven't won there since 2015. They went there and controlled the game with ease. You can understand that Arteta and, and the staff around him, big credit to them, during the World Cup, during the preseason, they worked harder than everybody else on style play, build-ups, tactics. Because when the player gets the ball, they know where it's going next. Zinchenko runs the game. At left back, he can shift into midfield when it's a bit more of an attacking game. But when he needs to defend, he's there. Matt Doherty didn't know what to do today. And every 50-50, Arsenal were first. Why were they? Because they wanted it more. I'm not questioning Antonio Conte. He's got a lot of injuries. But Arteta has done it again. Spot. Gabriel Jesus is injured, Eddie Nketiah comes in, and my god, he didn't get a goal, but he runs the show, he's so calm on the ball. Odegaard's a very quiet captain, he's not going to shout at you, he's not going to tell you what to do, but naturally, playing next to him, you feel this boost of confidence, he's so good, and the way he's turned around his career, people called him a flop at one stage, now he's carrying the Gunners to a Premier League title. Arsenal play Manchester United on the January 22nd, and I think that's a decisive match, because whoever wins that, could be going for the Premier League title. I'm not writing off the Red Devils. The way Ten Hag has got them playing right now, I can't see anyone beating them. I'm not sure about Man City anymore. They've still got to play them twice, Arsenal. So when the Arsenal actually face City, it's going to be a different game to what we've seen in previous years. When Tottenham go to City, they usually come away with a win. And if they are to do that again, City's title hopes are gone. Comment below who's going to win the Premier League. Right now, I'm saying Arsenal and I stick by Arteta and their strongest 11, as long as they can keep them fit, maybe a few additions by the end of January will really help their squad depth. For Tottenham, it's looking dross. They need their players back. Richarlison off the bench added something special. He had some fight. But you can see how much they're missing Benton Kerr, especially in the midfield. When Benton Kerr is next to Hoiberg, Hoiberg even improves his level. Comment down below, what do Arsenal need to do? Will they win the Premier League? And unfortunately, I do agree, that fan who decided to kick Ramsdale should be held responsible for whatever the FA decide to do to him. Thank you for watching. I will see you on a bit. Take care.